Hi guys, I'm Dr. Abbas Ali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon and a national level faculty of orthopedics and also a part-time YouTuber. So I love fixing bones and solving problems. I also have a YouTube channel called Bone Teacher where I started out teaching speciality orthopedics for doctors appearing for competitive exams but that quickly evolved into me talking about exam strategies, study hacks, productivity tips and time management. It has now evolved into a community of its own where we have students from all walks of life. We have uh, doctors, engineers, uh, chartered accountants and civil service aspirants following the channel now. Honestly, my aim was never to actually start a channel, channel per se, because to grow and nurture a YouTube channel, you need a lot of consistency and ample amount of spare time. And unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of that because of my practice, uh, teaching and also family. So when I started my channel, my aim was to simply make things efficient for me. See, because I have been teaching a lot of students over the years across the country, I get a lot of messages from students about their uh, problems as students. Now, these are the typical, uh, should I do this or do that? Uh, should I get this or get that? Will this help me or not? Uh, kind of a problems. Although they started out from ortho related queries, they slowly moved into the exam strategy domain. And sometimes we even discussed personal problems like uh, ragging and mental health. Now, I used to answer the questions uh, personally to these students in their DMs, but as my student community grew and grew, uh, it was impossible to answer each and every one of them. There was a time where for a few weeks I had some help, but it was not sustainable because those answers were not my answer. So I gave up on that idea uh, because it didn't work well. And so that's when I, I, I started answering these questions on my videos on my YouTube channel. See, videos help me reach out to more people and that helped me solve the problems of many students in one go. And that's how I kept making videos. I, it was all about efficiency for me. As far as the YouTube channel is concerned, all I can say is that there are only pros. Uh, I can't seem to find a con here. See, making videos is an art form. And I believe since doctors pretty much study all their life, the artist inside them dies a slow, painful death. So for me, making these videos is me basically trying to keep that artist alive. With videos, I like how I can be expressive. I can tell a story and present it in this uh, unique style. And while doing all that, I can still manage to solve a lot of problems and add positivity and value in the lives of others. Uh, that, that would have been impossible for me to do without uh, this platform. Another advantage of having a YouTube channel, and this is especially for young medicos out there, is that you will get a chance to be exposed to a lot of people. And if you're good, it will make it easy for the right people to find you. And that may open up a lot of opportunities in the future. The only con I personally feel is that you'll be judged. You will be judged a lot when you make content and, you know, put yourself out there. But that is OK. See, for me, because I see it as an advantage, I, I found out what the problem was and why people were you know, not not happy about it. And I worked on fixing that. So that kind of helped me improve myself. So that was kind of like a win win for me. For medical students, YouTube is an absolute boon. That's what I believe, at least. I mean, there are enormous resources out there and you can search for almost everything on YouTube. Since there is a lot of imagination required uh, to grasp and understand things uh, early on in medical college, I think YouTube's visual representation of things can help you learn faster. It can provide this alternate styles and approaches to a particular uh, part of a subject because you can find a range of videos teaching you the same thing in different ways. But unfortunately, with that volume of options comes the risk of errors. So I think you need to cross check and confirm uh, before you consume and commit that information to memory. Also on YouTube, you can see a lot of people do the same things differently and you can cherry pick the things that you like and make them a part of your life so that you can be a better version of yourself. For example, Anuj here makes nice study with me videos and you can incorporate anything you like from those videos in your life. Similarly, there are many, many study tubers you can learn from or you can watch this channel, the Indian Medico for getting a big picture of any topic before you start reading as it will help you pick up the important points of that topic even before you attempt reading it. 
and finally if you have any problem in strategizing your study uh, or having a good study plan or have you know any study or life related philosophical questions that you need answers for you can search for my channel and hopefully you will find your answers there and for budding youtubers uh, this is all i have to say make videos make more videos learn what others are doing and present it in your own unique style i'm not saying copy blindly don't copy it but take inspiration that's what everyone does you guys have time you have resources use them and don't worry about the number of views or subscribers just make quality content that adds value in the lives of others just make something that you would watch yourself initially it would be like you shouting in the void because there will be not a lot of people and views but people will start listening and that's when you will have your own community so so start today and thank me later in the future All right guys it's been so nice talking to you thank you gautam and thank you for being here bye bye